So I've been getting a lot of questions lately on master cylinders and I wanted to do a quick little tech tip on masters and how you should set them up and to make sure that you're not building pressure up in the hydraulic system, which can lead to premature clutch wear, can lead to bearing wear, it can lead to um, destroying the release bearing, it can lead to the clutch acting weird, um, The can lead to the pedal feeling like super heavy pressure when you go to press it down. So I wanna show you um, this clutch pedal set up outside the car, because it's a lot easier to see here. Okay, so here you can see a clutch pedal um, assembled, and this is a right-hand drive super one, the ones that I uh, make now. And you can see here I have my master adapter in place um, and the tilt and, uh, the tilt and master. And this is how this would normally work when you have it installed in the car, except for there would be a firewall you know, right in here between these two. But since we're just doing this for demonstration purposes, this is how it would look. And you can see the adjustment rod coming through right here. And this is how you adjust your master back and forth to get your pedal location where you want it off the floor, right? Um, but this is also important to make sure that you have um, free play in your pedal as well. So this master rod goes in and out of your cylinder. And towards the back here, there's a bypass valve. That bypass valve is what relieves the pressure out of the system. So you need to make sure that this master rod is able to return all the way out to zero position. So the way I set this up here first is to show you how it would be wrong, right? So if you look here where my hole is um, in the pedal and where my clevis hole is, they're not lined up. And you can see that my master rod is actually pushed back further. So if I would install my pin right now and push this in, now my rod isn't fully extended and I'm not gonna get past, I might not be getting past the bypass valve to relieve the pressure. So now every time, if I have my pin installed here, every time, try to put this in here, one hand, yeah, there we go. So now if I'm pumping my pedal every time, it's gonna build pressure and pressure and pressure and pressure and keep building pressure up. And what that does is if you have a hydraulic release bearing, like most of these T56 setups I do, or like um, any of these hydraulic release bearing setups for the clutch do, it will build pressure in there and consist, like, con like slowly push the bearing more and more out, which can push on the clutch. So it's almost like you're driving around with the clutch pedal half held, held down because you've got pressure in the system, which is not natural, right? So you have to make sure um, when you're doing these, that you adjust this rod down. So basically I'm, a, I'm screwing this rod, trying to anyway, so that then we get free play in here. So you should be able to wiggle this. You should be almost able to, let me see if I can get this to zoom. You should be able to do something like this. Sorry, it's hard to see. You should be able to have free play here basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, and you should be able to, the easy way to check it is that you pull the pin, right? You pull this pin and you see if you're overextended past your hole, right? If you are, then that means there's no free play. So what you wanna do is you're gonna adjust this rod by spinning it, right? You're gonna adjust this rod, spin it, and suck the clevis inward so that when you go to install your pin, it's lined up, right? You don't want it to be pushed back because then that's gonna be, like I said, adding additional pressure. So you want it to be either lined up or it can be going, it can be this way, like this master can be like this. Um, so when you pull the pin, it, it can go forward, that's, that's fine. Um, or the pedal can come backwards, basically. Um, because the pedal itself, just will stop when it gets the master pulled all the way out. Um, so either lined up straight with some free play in here um, or in this way is fine as well, right? Um, then from there, you can adjust your pedal downward. Like if you wanna move your engagement point down towards the floor more, then you can continue to screw this downward um, the easiest way to do that is to put a little bit of light pressure with your hand on this pedal 
while you use your other hand to screw this uh, rod in. Uh, that's how I always do it. Uh, you, you give a little bit of tension on this and it lets you by hand turn that rod. I hope that helps. And uh, like I said, the parts for this, the master cylinders, the slave cylinders, um, the clutch pedal assemblies, they're all out on the website. Uh, the IS300 clutch pedal assemblies are coming soon. Uh, I got the samples, test fitted them. Everything's good. Um, so those will be coming out soon.